Hi, and welcome to the latest Space Academy shout out. It's been great seeing all your um, pictures coming in and we have a few more to share with you today. Don't forget Holiday Club is available all through the summer on our website at www.wattlingvalley.org.uk. And do please continue to send us all your pictures and, and your jokes to Space Academy 2021 at wattlingvalley.org.uk. That's Space Academy 2021 at wattlingvalley.org.uk. And we will be doing a further shout out right at the beginning of September. So look out for that. And please share the videos with your friends and encourage them to engage with some of the activities that we've, we've put together. But first, some jokes for you. How do you organise a space party? You plan it, of course. What's, a astro what's an astronaut's favourite key on the keyboard? The space bar. And why did the aliens throw beef on the asteroid? He wanted to it. Sorry, he wanted it. He wanted it a little meteor. Couldn't get that one out. Why did Mickey Mouse go to outer space? He was looking for Pluto. And one long one here for you. Sherlock Holmes and Watson are camping on a case they're investigating. After putting up the tent, having a good dinner and a bottle of wine, they go to sleep. In the middle of the night, Holmes wake up, wakes up and nudges his faithful friend. Watson, look up at the sky and tell me what you see. I see millions and millions of stars, Holmes. Uh, and what do you deduce from that, Watson? Whilst Watson ponders for a minute. Well, it tells me that there are millions of galaxies and potentially billions of planets. Somewhere in the universe with so many billions of stars similar to the sun, there is a high probability that some of these stars have Earth-like planets. And assuming that Earth is typical, some may have developed intelligent life. It means that humanity may not be alone in this vast cosmos. What do you deduce, Holmes? Holmes is silent for a moment before he replies, quite. Though, my more and more immediate concern is the fact that clearly someone has stolen our tent. And finally, knock, knock. Who's there? Solo. Solo who? Solo, are you going to think of a better joke? I'm sure you're going to think of a better joke. Please send them in to us. So I'm going to share my screen now so you can see the pictures that someone sent in. So Haniel has been very busy. Here Haniel's busy making his um, dream catcher from the story of when Daniel interpreted the king's dream and told the king exactly what he'd been, he'd been dreaming. Love the beautifully coloured wall and the extra tassels hanging down. And it looks like, Hanyal, you've been plaiting the, the top, the, the hoop at the top to hang on, so you can hang it on your wall. And here, Daniel's, um, Hanyal's busy um, creating his knight um, to remind him of the flaming fiery furnace from the story of Rakshak and Benny. And I can see your uh, dream catcher in the background. And I love the night glow of your, um, of your lantern. 
And then finally, we have you here making, we have Haniel here making his lion um, cushion. It looks fantastic. And very, you were very patient tying all those, all those knots together. That's brilliant. And that obviously is from the story we had on our final day of Daniel in the lion's den. Do please continue to send us your pictures. Do please send us your jokes. And we look forward to seeing you soon. Take care. Bye.